Mike Richardson's 47 Ronin is a graphic novel depicting historical events from 18th century Japan with illustrations by Stan Sakai. Richardson is the founder of Dark Horse Comics, est. 1986, which published the book in 2014. The story of the 47 Ronin, the name given to a samurai bereft of a master, gained popularity in 18th and 19th century Japan as the country modernized. Lord Asano was a feudal lord who, in the year 1701, went to visit governmental overseer Kira Yoshinaka, a cocky charged with maintaining court etiquette. The legend holds that Yoshinaka personally insulted Lord Asano while the latter was visiting him concerning matters of political etiquette. These public insults enraged Lord Asano, who conspired to kill Yoshinaka at the Edo castle. The attempt failed, and Lord Asano was forced to commit seppuku, ritualized killing. After two years of plotting, the 47 Ronin, all former samurai who had sworn loyalty to Lord Asano, vowed to kill Yoshinaka at any cost. Richardson's graphic novel, whose captions indicate temporal and physical setting, begins on December 14, 1703, at the Sengaku Jai Temple. A stranger identifying himself as Kurokami Kaiken approaches a priest. Kaiken explains that the samurai class is struggling to find purpose in a world without war. When asked by the priest, he agrees to tell the story of why he is so tortured. Captions helpfully introduce the settings, the first of which is Lord Asano's court in March 1701. Lord Asano bids farewell to his family as he prepares to visit the shogun's palace 400 miles away. His retainer, Oishi, suggests that he leave early in order to receive training in court etiquette. The next zine moves to the shogun's palace in April. The court official, Kira Yoshinaka expresses disapproval at not receiving gifts from Lord Asano in exchange for his instructions in etiquette. Lord Asano refuses to give a bribe in exchange for Yoshinaka performing his defined role under the shogun. A series of insults follow, and, after shogun publicly humiliates Lord Asano in front of a group of court officials, they exchange blows, Lord Asano wounds Yoshinaka. Because of this affront, Lord Asano is ordered by the shogun to commit seppuku. Lord Asano's wife is notified of her husband's death and forced to abandon the castle and their possessions. Oishi assembles a group of more than 100 of Lord Asano's retainers who debate among themselves what should be done about their lord's unfair death. Oishi is resolute in his decision to petition the shogun to re-establish the house of Asano with his younger brother, Degaku, as its head. 62 of the retainers sign Oishi's petition and the others disband. During this conference of retainers, an old man, Muramatsu, approaches Oishi and asks to be allowed to aid in defending Lord Asano's honor, but Oishi tells him that he must depart. Muramatsu kills himself outside of their assembly. The shogun's agents arrive, ordering the retainers to leave the castle, while Oishi quietly affirms that he has not forgotten Yoshinaka's wrongdoing. Meanwhile, at Yoshinaka's residence near the Ayasegi clan, Yoshinaka protests that he has not been given the proper level of protection, as he fears retaliation by Asano's men. It is agreed that, as he is related by marriage to the Ayasegi clan, he be given retainers at their expense. Meanwhile, Oishi, who lives modestly with his family, is told that the late Lord Asano's brother, Degaku Asano, is being kept in confinement in the family's villa. Noticing a spy outside his home, Oishi bids farewell to his wife and child in order to reassemble Lord Asano's former retainers in a tavern outside of Kyoto. Oishi announces that they will indeed avenge Lord Asano, but at the expense of their own lives. He releases those unwilling to make this sacrifice. Oishi explains that his plan is for the retainers to convince the public that they have abandoned their loyalty by living debauched lives. Shortly after this meeting, Oishi is seen in brothels and drunk in the streets. His plan works. Yoshinaka releases his bodyguards. One of these bodyguards, who suspects that Oishi's plan is a ruse, sets out to investigate the rumors about Oishi. Oishi confirms this man's suspicion by killing him. When Oishi gathers Lord Asano's retainers a third time, it is for the execution of their plan to attack Yoshinaka. One of the men has procured plans the of Yoshinaka's house by marrying the daughter of one of the builders. Thus, on the evening of December 14, 1702, the retainers attack the palace of Kira Yoshinaka. They kill many of the palace guards, but at first cannot find Yoshinaka, who is hiding beneath a pile of cloth in a shed outside. Once the band discovers him, they cut off his head and bring it to the Sengaku Jai temple. Several weeks later, as the retainers predicted, the shogun, who is conflicted in his decision, announces that these 47 retainers be put to death. 
in recognition of the loyalty with which they acted, they are given the option of an honorable death by Harikiri, Sabuku. Boishi is the last to kill himself. The final scene flashes forward to the present, where the stranger telling the story introduces himself as one who spit on Oishi in the street. He reports that he is also returning the blade he took from Oishi when he thought that Oishi had given in to moral dissolution. The book's final page provides a list of these 47 ronin whose story is told within. I hope you enjoy this video leave a like, if you didn't be sure to subscribe for more lore thank you all so much for your support.